Tony's jamming already. Love it. <laughs> hey, welcome everybody to Full Spectrum Cycling. This is show 263. Hey, Matt Graining. Oh, <laughs> Matt Graining. He's right there. Oh, Gates. Matt Gates. Gates. Yeah, That's see? it. No, Matt Graining would be your... Uh, Whatever the hell that is. your Simpsons yeah, is. All right. We're in the studio yeah, who today are you? here. Kevin McCarthy? All right. He just Podcast had a jab in today. Nice. Like, hour, like an hour ago. Uh-huh. <laughs> we got JK over there. Hello. <laughs> on top of all the news. Dee, 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 dee. We got... Uh, we, we'll talk about the green belt later. We got to, we got Tony. <laughs> Sorry to be tweeted, so. We got Corey Bauman, River West, River West 24's own uh, bonus checkpoint yeah. manager. manager. Is that what we decided it was? That's right, manager. That's straight right. from Jeremy Pratt. Yeah. And uh, in the peanut gallery today, we got Ken Keen running away because I think he got a phone call. <laughs> and uh, and we have Carol. Carol is is observing if she ever wants to be part of this dumb fuckery that we do here. Uh, every single Tuesday. Please do be part of our dumb fuckery. <laughs> Boy, I don't know. What's going on? Anybody got anything right off the bat? JK? Well, Corey's here. I mean, that kind of has something on the bat. Yeah. I don't know. What's Other than he asked, get out here so you can go to some all-star oh, game. It's, uh, it's been awesome. Future Plans recorded an album over the weekend. Right on. Ten new songs. Um, I knocked out almost everything on the first take. Nice. I yeah. saw. I saw that you had a wicked nice drum kit. Oh to my bang god! Upon. The the drums were incredible. Shane Hostetler, if anybody's ever gets the chance to work the with him, the pictures look pretty cool. It's phenomenal. He's got a great ear for for music. He's an incredible drummer. He's got really nice drums. Better than you? Oh, I don't believe that. He's phenomenal. I don't believe that for a second. Played drums in Call Me Lightning. And, oh, uh, okay. Well, maybe he is then. Panagra. <laughs> Just kidding, man. Some some other like Tintoretto. But yeah. So once you once you record an album like you did this past weekend, how long to master it and to get it actually in people's uh, so, hands? So for the most part, we're we're like halfway through everything. They've got to go back. We have to reschedule because they've got a. We kind of just ran out of time based on hours, but we've got they've got to do a little bit of cleanup. The guitars do, and then we got to do vocals. Then there's like a a little bit of a in between before mixing. Um, Shane likes to have, and this is a really great idea, like just have your chance for like to forget everything you did so you can come in and just like experience everything kind of new. Cool. So that you can be like, okay, yeah, this sounds good. Raise this up, bring this down, whatever. And then, uh, and then it goes to mastering. And then from there it goes to recording or to, sorry, the shipping to get pressed. And um, that is a wild card. Speaking Mm -hmm. of, speaking of pressing, look what's on the uh, turntable. Oh yeah. It looks like All a future right. plans to me. I think that's one of your uh, yeah, that's, one of your, one will of your it, past. Will albums. it also be of some funky said colors? Um, I don't think so. That looked like poop. Well, then screw it. I we don't want uh, it. so it's funny because we talked. The, Those are gorgeous. the The guy who put it out was like, "Hey, we can do black vinyl. It'll be this much, or for a little bit cheaper, you can get mystery." And he goes, "And I usually get like a really cool blue or a great orange or whatever." We're like, yeah, let's go for it. And we got like three different colors of brown. <laughs> That's okay, though. One one of them was more of like a purplish, blackish kind of like smoke. That, w- But there was only like 10 of them, so we all kept those. And then I've got the other four that are for... So those are going to be worth major f- money special, down the yeah, road. Yeah, for very special VIP people. So, like, that's probably just the stuff they didn't use in in a good, a consistent a color run. run. They just put it all in the hopper and yeah, go here. You go. Yeah, I don't the know colors they, didn't. Wait. The colors didn't test well at the uh, Crayola you, factory. You had all right? those <laughs> weird <laughs> colored bottles, uh, oh, water right, bottles. Right, right, Who was yeah. that? That was from uh, Velocity. Velocity would suddenly just produce a bunch so, of just crazy yeah, so colored bottles. What those came from is when they were changing the color. They don't clean the mold. They just keep running it until it so there's goes 50 from 50 of them. That would right. be weird color. Yeah, it goes from like orange and then it's orangish blue and then whatever, whatever, whatever until it's blue. blue. <laughs> so yeah, they, they do. And they sell them for like 50 cents a piece or something just to, instead of spending all the time to clean the mold, they just run it until it is clean. That's so, kind of genius. Yeah. I like that. That's kind of genius. Everybody wins. That said, I'm not a big Velocity water bottle cage fan. I'm but they do hold the bottle, I guess, and they are cheap if you get the mystery. Do they hold the a mystery can of beer? Meat. Uh, Let's see, that's all I'm concerned they hold, about. They hold a water bottle. Maybe a can of beer and a koozie. There you go. That's all Maybe. I need. Silo. 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 
Uh, it shook up real nice. Yeah. All yeah. right. So Corey's actually here in official capacity today as a River West 24 bonus checkpoint manager and archivist, I believe. It's true. Uh, one of the, the checkpoints, for those who are listening, if, who have participated in the 24, uh, I'm going to give it away. It is the River West 24 Museum. If you've got anything to donate, uh, keep an eye on our River West 24 social media and drop off. Uh, it, they might they might be closing it by the time this comes out, but I'm hoping that they're going to do one more shot, depending on how much stuff that they get. But you can drop it off at the Jazz Gallery, so keep your eye open for that. I know that I donated a bunch of stuff. Uh, I know that other organizers have dropped things off, and uh, but there's a there's a lot of more like individual, you know, teams always put together shirts and mm-hmm. you know so you get uh, my like Richard Gears, yeah, your onesie, your onesie. <laughs> <laughs> not donate. It's a romper. It's not a you onesie. It, I mean, and everything. Uh, and it's a, romper. a men's romper. It is a, a romper. jaunty romper, isn't if one it? Would say. And it's not like a donation. It's a it's a loan. Yeah. You'll get it back in August. So Jazz Gallery. Oh, well, I might do it then. If you're yeah, Mil- you'll get it back at the end if of August. If you're a Milwaukee person, no you may not even anxiety, know where Jazz right? Gallery is. It's on Center and Wheel or Bremen? No, Center mm. and Wheel. Wheel. So is right. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yes. Right on. Yeah, right. Across the street from the vendor that sells stripper gear. Yeah, it's a very sexy yeah. store across right. the street. <laughs> yep. I was looking for goldfish <laughs> shoot with a goldfish in the heel shoe. Yeah, yeah, did you find them? No, I didn't go in there either, though, because I'm a feared. I'm a fear to going in there. I'm not going in there by <laughs> appointment only. Which there, if, oh, is it? <laughs> that just gives an extra layer. That sure <laughs> does. Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah, yeah. So I want to go to the sexual store by appointment mm, only. only. There's mm. one on. <laughs> there's one out on on the way to my mom's house too. It's somewhere out on I don't know Beloit or something. But it's not like a tool shed where you can get toys for fun. It's more like a a, a store for gears that you can perform in. Okay. <laughs> I don't want to go to eat. Well, I do go to Toy Shed. We're not going to talk about that. Uh, um, Molly, cool. don't listen to the show. So uh, the the uh, the River West Twenty Four Museum will have seventeen propaganda. Years. Speaking yeah. of propaganda, did anybody see my shirt? Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. Horrible. The horrible city. <laughs> I swear to the God, Milwaukee he came flag. out with this thing like twelve hours after yeah. sold out. Yeah. Twelve hours after the 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 the, the thing, it, he mm-hmm. had the shirts already out, ready Good to go. Him. So he made That's a screen. That's called entrepreneurial. He made a screen. He screened some shirts, and then he put them up, and people were like, "Yeah, I'll take some of those." That's a great shirt. Yeah, uh, the week cool. is almost over. I would get one. <laughs> I'd get one too. I somehow I I'd, have to, wear, I'd have to wear to it to end. work, and then people would be like, "You got to take your shirt off." Yeah. I'm like, do you really want to see this naked? <laughs> But I'll you, do it, but you, do you want to see this You naked? can't wear shirts with any kind of... No. It's not politi- no political mo- It's not political. At all. It's not political at all. What are you talking about? It's you a, can read between the lines. It's a horrible lines. city. Yeah. <laughs> it's, I oh know, I really, <laughs> I'm really just starting to think River West is a horrible neighborhood, but oh, oh we're not going to get into that Does right River now. West have a logo? Maybe it should. It, I don't know. No? Well, horrible River West shirt I right down the pike. Oh, horrible neighborhood. Cool. Uh, <laughs> other bonus checkpoint uh, news. We've got forty. Well, forty-eight total. The tattoo is is back in the swing. We've got a house. How much? How much is the tattoo this year? I'm assuming it's forty-eight. I believe that's what it's been in the past few years. It was Sixty last year. Oh well, then maybe it's sixty. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. <laughs> I don't. I don't book anything. I just. Here you go and yep, go in there and set <laughs> yeah. that up. Yeah, I just I just make sure that they've got a house and that I find a couple volunteers and then a house they, with power. That's yeah. what, that was my dilemma when they did it at my house. And they just run it however they run it. If it's sixty, it's sixty. I when do it first you, started, it was twenty four. I know, and then it was forty eight. I have them all. Sixty. You do too. I do too. It was kind of fun. I still randomly run into people and be like, hey. Where'd you get that tattoo? Oh, yeah. We were talking about that in like, the last one. Uh, some abandoned house. I'm like, no. You're talking about not getting one this year. I don't think I'm going to get it this year. You're, you're a stick in the mud this year. I am a stick in the mud this year. <laughs> yeah. I'm really yeah, down. Tony Berger, hey. River West hater. I yeah. am down with the 53212 right now. You know now. what? That should have that should have been yeah. your team name. Tony, Tony the hater. That could have been that. What uh, What is our team name this year? Oh, I have them all. Um, they're oh, all over. Carol's eyeball on Tony's leg. 
Yeah. <laughs> there's some there. There's some there. There's some there. There's some back here. So what's the official number now? 13 is the current number? Tattoos? Yeah. Uh, 16? 15. I think this year will be 15. 15. This year will be 15, but so, okay. So you have yeah. 14. I have 14. Yeah. Guess how many I have again? Zero. Zero. That's, you're correct. Uno. There it is. <laughs> My house. <laughs> that was a scabs then, um, year. I love it. We've got a ton more. Like the first years that people rode, if if you won, you're like your your team busted its ass for 24 hours, you would like split a six pack and get like. I did that. Yeah, and and then they, you know maybe like a, ice trophy. Yeah, you get a pound six of coffee pack. from Collective. Yeah. or and I'm sorry, pound of co- coffee from from Fuel. Altera. or Altera, Okay. So, yeah. Sold the name, but not the. Uh, and then, well, uh, the one business. year where that we won, the bag said Collectivo, but it was a sticker, and if you peeled it off, it said Altera behind it. Yeah, that was funny. It was right before they sold out to Hershey. Ne- yeah. yeah, Nestle or Hershey Nestle, or somebody. maybe Nestle. Yeah, when Collectivo, when when those guys became billionaires instead of millionaires. I think if you go to Atlanta and go to some hotel that's all hoity toity, you get Altera yeah. like. Commercial like, like pods, commercial pods. Put in, to put in your coffee pot. Fuck you guys. Sorry. So, hey, uh, are you against people making money or what? Uh, you know another thing not that grinds my money. gears. <laughs> I ever tell you, Skynet. You ever wonder why a guy'd <laughs> want to go ahead and change the name of his company from Altera to Collectivo? <laughs> I oh, wonder that's about a that deep all dig. the time. A, <laughs> Andy Rooney, a deep pull. <laughs> <laughs> I loved Andy Rooney. He was the best part of watching 60 Minutes. In fact, he was it's the true. only reason yeah, to watch 60 Minutes. Charles Grout wasn't bad either. Cool. All right, Corey. So 48 <laughs> bonus checkpoints is 96 laps if you do them all. That's correct. Right? Wow, so that's a lot of laps. I don't remember Wait, laps. we're not doing the spinner anymore? No, they got rid of that years ago. I thought so. Too okay. controversial. Well, that about random. It was so ooh. random because it didn't wasn't actually accurate. I mean, it, about how many laps? There's certain it gave numbers you? that never actually came up because it was so it was, poorly designed. Yeah, uh, it did hit negative one. Uh, we got zero for everyone that went to cost. You remember that? No, but I believe it. People. Well, had that their, was a long ways off the beaten path to go. Yeah, to, to cost. go all the way to cost, and then they spun it at the end, and it was zero. There were a lot of really, especially the dude that ran. Molly sat him down at the next checkpoint. It's like, you need to sit here, have a bunch of water. Maybe let's find you some food. Oh, that this guy, guy was yeah, like yeah. ready to go out hard. Yeah, I remember it's like, that year. You that guy need, was running. Yeah, he was. <laughs> so, oh, uh, wait, but, but I have to say this my chiropractor, Dr. Steven, is probably going to listen to this show. He's also talking about running the River West 24 this year. Ride a fucking bike, dude. He's talking about running. Like he's a. Actual... He's a, a, a Ultra runner. Why do people run? It's so bad for he's your not body. Someone stole their bike. He's not the guy that. <laughs> he's not the guy you hassle on the Locust Street Bridge, is it? No, no. I love it. Oh God, I'd like to kick that guy in the I ass. I thought that was your no. Doctor Steven's maybe. a great guy. And well, he's, I just thought that would have been awesome. To, yeah. Yeah. No. He, he 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 just completed a hundred mile race on foot. Like someone stole your it bike. Take him like four hours. Yeah, or something like that. Or twenty-four. <laughs> my body is so, not designed so my, for that. Impact. My forty. So the the math with the forty-eight and the ninety-six, right? It's two points per yep. checkpoint. Yep. So what is it going to take, actually doing laps wise to be competitive? Again, it's not a competition, but to be recognized as the person that did the most laps, actually riding your bike. I would think so. In the past, I know there was teams that could knock out a hundred laps. So I think if you're somewhere in that 50 to 60 range, you're probably in pretty good shape. Right. So I don't know the how, because I don't like race anymore. I don't even know how competitive things get. You know, they've knocked out the A squad where everybody shares a one bike that's gone. Yep, that was fun. That was the best. We won that. Um, and then, 2013 champions. We won that. Yeah, my BMX team took third place in that one year. Well, and then. They- um, and then now that they've split it up, there's you know the convoy and perfect strangers and tandem. And then is there still uh, male? It's not them. It's us, dude. What's the old guy? Male, one? male, and uh, female is there solo. Still, yeah, is there the still, solo. It seems is there like, still male and female solo? I don't know. I think so. I would yeah. think so. I think so. There's geriatric too, which we're going to qualify for. And well, you already qualified. We seem to be so like subdivisions not, in solo it, when yeah. I signed 55. up. I was just like, I oh, know, I do qualify. Yeah, cool. But, cool. but so does Ken. But and, yeah. and so does Carol. 
And so, so you can all do it. JK doesn't. You don't qualify yet, do you? No. But You're fifty two. One. Yeah. One. Well, but what goofs our team up is like Damien and Pedro on those guys. Right. So we have to just young fucks. <laughs> yeah, we just have to get a team of old yeah. fucks, and it'll be awesome. So my intention is the same as damn last year, Achilles tendon uh, contingent, <laughs> uh, an hour, uh, a lap an hour. Yeah. For 24 hours. So I should get yeah. 24. That's mm-hmm. my aspirate. And then do all of go. the checkpoints? Uh, no. That's my one goal is the lap part. I'm looking at you. I'm looking at the you. Looking year, at you. The, looking at the, you, the, the bonus at you. checkpoints, if they fall in, they will fall in. And I'm sure they will. The last, can make up. the last year I participated, I did all, I think at the time it was still 24 bonuses. I did all 24 bonuses, rode 24 laps, I and at like 4.30, I was on my BMX bike. <laughs> at 4.30, I was like, my knees are shot, I'm done. Yeah, that's I not. was like, why well, go past 24? I can no, get 25, no. who cares? Yeah. I could sit on this bench and There's drink. a better story to it. <laughs> Did Seems you like a lot more fun. <laughs> yeah. Did you and use a safer. twenty inch? Use a twenty inch BMX, right? I use my twenty inch BMX. Did yeah, there's twenty four. Yeah, there's no twenty four inches of terror. <laughs> so, there should be though, because it's kind of hand in hand. Did oh, you not be thirty six? Did you have oh, the Did you have the seat beamers? Did you have the seat up so you could sit, or were you standing I, I the had entire it, time? No, I had it up enough so that I could sit comfortably. Was it angled back like that, so you no. slipped off the back and fell no. on your back wheel like a lot of BMX seats? What's no. that all about? When we when we why, were, why do you have your seat like that? I I raised it up. I fixed it so I could sit down for those. <laughs> You know, so I could like bomb hills smart. and yeah. Was uh, was handsome Bob ever on your team? No. What he was he was on. Are you talking about team. Elquist? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Handsome. No, Bob. we we asked him <laughs> to be on, and um, and he was all ready to be, and then he had to wear a helmet, and he was like, "Fuck this! I don't Deal wear a helmet." <laughs> oh, and he, I think and he then, got booted off and so for he, not wearing a helmet. Yeah, he's he did the year before. Permanently banned for yeah. not wearing a helmet. Right. And then on. he's like, "I'm just gonna ride around. I'm gonna throw tacks everywhere and hope people just." Pop their tires. <laughs> you be you, douche. <laughs> but uh, he never did. But yeah, the funny. Threat. He talks funny a lot. Guy. The funnier part of it. He talks a lot. He's he a does, vegan. He doesn't act that much. Yeah, that's why his bones snap like right. nobody's business, right. man. Holy cow, the guy breaks an elbow a week or something sometimes. <laughs> Ken, Ken, had, Ken's he, nodding his head over there. <laughs> he's just got. He's got just absolute gems that come out of. Yeah, he, he, he's he's he, colorful. Oh, when, he, when he's not grumpy, while. he's hilarious. Here. JK, because we we got up there now. Oh yeah, top of the hill, everybody. Uh, JK picked our beer of the day, which I forgot it's as good as it is. <laughs> Hell yeah! This I is, didn't realize this it was folks, the Green Belt. Green Belt is Green it's totally Belt drinkable. Premium American Lager. They just rebranded it. Or There's re- such a large sign it. for Green Belt in Minneapolis. It's like okay. humongous. It's right by the river, and it's. It's a very large sign. Brewed in the heart of America's grain belt. Yeah. It's damn good. Since the 1893 time frame. It's shockingly yeah. drinkable. <laughs> I mean, yeah. And they have it the, might uh, be at my house during the River West Not 24. exactly sure where New Ulm is, but is that in the Minneapolis area or is it not? The one big sign was right in Minneapolis. Yeah, I remember uh, when we went there for, uh, what the hell did we go there for? Some fatbike.com thing. Yeah, there was something going on at uh, one up. Yeah, or the freewheel, freewheel, Free, freewheel bike co-op, freewheel bike that was right on that uh, yeah. when, trails. Hey, speaking of fatbike.com, guess what? The new version of the site is actually working now. Mm. It was down for mm, probably. It, I mean, it worked kind of, but the back end didn't really work. So I had to spend about I don't know forty hours fixing it. Uh oh, that's what seven years lack of maintenance will get you. Ah, uh, it does happen. And when you suck all the money out of it and don't do any maintenance, that makes you a schmuck. Gomez. <laughs> Naughty. And that's why he's not allowed to play on the site anymore. <laughs> Are you not supposed to be drinking on this? I guess. I don't Let me know. I'll read. Um, you can drink on whatever. You should avoid you prolonged or excessive <laughs> exposure to direct and or artificial sunlight. Hmm. May cause drowsiness. Uh, Do not operate a, a vehicle. While he's reading or the, vessel. Hey, while he's reading the thing, I I want to. Did you notice, J.K., that butter mint in Shorewood is closing? Yes, I just ran across that. Is because that it's is terrible. that something that affects you at all? No. Did you ever go to butter mint? Take I this almost. medication with a full glass of water. <laughs> I went to Blue's Egg there once, but 
No, I made that last like part the idea up. Okay. of a keep the microphone away from your mouth. Um, <laughs> I went there like with the idea that it's like a supper club, right? Mm-mm. And I kind of looked at Mm-mm. it. They were trying to give the supper club vibe. I think that was it. Yeah, and they had some cockamamie menu. And, yeah, but there was no relish tray, so I say no. That's well, not it's a, definitely not a supper no, no. club. Did they have you know brandy old fashions on tap? Most likely. Yeah. On, uh, yeah. Yeah. On yeah. Tap. Um, no, it, I don't it, know. It's part of our that friends Maxis. went to it a few times and really raved about it, and then brought us takeout from it. And I'm like, eh. you know who really liked it is Stacy across the driveway. Yeah, that's okay. She really liked it for some reason because she lives a few blocks away. Makes it handy, doesn't it? Right. I mean, there's not many good places to eat in Charlotte. I used anyway. to love company because I could walk there. And then look what happened. Yeah, took the poutine off the menu. Hey there, Tony, went straight down. Do you remember crypto? I do. Not, I have some crypto. Not the currency. The Spiridium. Uh, I got it twice, as a matter of fact. I lost a ton of weight. I don't think it's around anymore, but I swear to God, last week I thought that I was on it? the Spiridium train from somewhere. But I haven't <sighs> I haven't been to any streams or anything up north or I don't know. Just So It was it was I, a it was a grim four days and I'm I like, just want to say here? that crypto spiridium hit shortly after I started dating my now wife. So that's 33-ish years. And I'm sick as all get out. And I end up going to the ER on my birthday. And then they ask me how well I know my girlfriend and accuse me of having an STD. Oh, nice. And they swap my motherfucking urethra, like which up, which, up which is Donica? absolutely Donica. the most painful experience. I'm, I'm, I have a plethora of tattoos. I would get 100 more rather than have that again. Then tell me I have no idea what's wrong with you. Go home and drink water. So you're looking forward to being an old man when you have to put the <clears throat> catheter in there? I don't know. I don't. I, it was And you have most, to do it yourself because you won't so have a nurse come bad. into it? I'll have a nurse. Like, no. I have enough money to have a nurse. Um, it, it was <laughs> As long as you're Jamaican. Horrible. And I get to call her mama. <laughs> it was absolutely horrible. And I lost so much weight in two weeks. And they were like, I don't know what's wrong with you. Drink more water. I'm like... That's what's killing me, people. And I got it twice because I worked on the south side. Yeah, that was where it was. I looked gorgeous, prevalent. man. I was so thin. You were like ripped, oh. thin, thin ripped. Christian Bale and the Machinist, right? <laughs> <laughs> but oh my god, I drank water and was in the bathroom within four minutes. Yeah. Absolutely terrible. No, this was similar. But oh, I'm sorry. But maybe I'm different. Sorry. I don't maybe know. had COVID. Didn't have. I don't know. Tested. Why would I do that? You don't have to test anymore. Well, you test so you don't go to work and give her no, it's COVID, but you don't work, Greg, so. Right? Ouch. Oh, Wait a minute. That's in not, case there's a God weird. damn it. That's not true. I don't work with other people. In case there's a weird convention, then you're told not to go into work because there you have these pop-up events at your uh, Legionnaire's campus. Legionnaire's disease, you're saying. The campus. You know, yeah, I don't want any uh, foreign-born whatever those freakers are bringing in from other states. All right. Hey, Did you read saying, the latest but article I get to that apparently all week long. everyone from out of town had no idea what uh, New Glarus beer was, and Ugh. now everyone loves it because they're not from around here? Yeah, but it's woman-owned. Uh, Why like, would they love it? Well, and you can't take it out of the state. Well, you can take it out of the state, but you can't buy it out of the state. Oh, I yeah. don't know. Why they're, would they they're like down any on women. That? Why would they like it? I don't think they're down on women. I think they want women to go down on them. <laughs> oh! Wow. Hey. Whoa, you almost wow. got me. <laughs> <laughs> Bam, all over the computer. Uh, Corey, I'm sorry. I'm Corey, really... do you follow the Tour de France at all? No. I know you're a sporting guy, but you're more on the stick and ball side of sports? Yeah. Yeah, anything that involves a sphere is usually my cup of tea. Like you Whether had, it's a what's long with, sphere. What's with your big um, uh, all-star game today? Paul Skeens is throwing. Last time he threw, it was against the Brewers. He went... Seven shot out three seven no hit innings. Yeah, this kid's on fire. I know nothing he, about baseball. Even Tony knows about. But him. even I know about this guy. No, I don't know. It's but I watched like four still, pitches. I'm like, oh god, that dude's hot. The uh, I don't know. There's there's a nostalgia for the All Star game for me. I I try to catch it every year. Gotcha. I heard the home run derby was a shit show. Is what the uh, what the <laughs> what, it, that's what all the pundits actually called it. Yeah, shit. Yeah. Show. Um the the worst part was the Star Spangled Banner. Yeah, I've caught a couple watch, of the Watch howls. that. Yeah. I've yeah. <laughs> um, and some guy from SNL did the introductions, and I thought that was going to be the worst part of the night. And she was like, 
I hate this expression, but she was like, hold my beer. Yep. <laughs> it's actually, hey, y'all. Yeah, hold, hey, my, hold beer. my beer. <laughs> wow. Wow. Oh, too soon. That's what? pretty brutal. Was it, was it that woman? No. <laughs> the hot Tua girl? No. <laughs> Uh, no, but I had some, to do a double take she because was just I like had some, no idea who the human was. That was just like some drunk girl in, what, Nashville? I don't know, I but so. she's she's kind of or smart. She's kind of uh, picking up on the social medias now, yeah. though, so she's got, a, no she's got an opportunity to we'll make a song in Nashville. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so anyway, tour. I, I can't believe any people watch tour. It. I didn't the, get the peacock. We're from America. The last week. Last weekend's two stages were so awesome. The big mountain stages. They're just, they're, they're exciting. Those people are animals. Exciting, I tell I mean, you. Yeah, what anyway, I read, though, that they don't another, want cobblestone anymore actually, or gravel. Well, they're here. two different things. Yeah. Cobbles are much harder than gravel. Oh, I can only imagine how hor- horrible and cobbles are, are to ride and there on. Are, there are no cobbles in the tour, which makes sense. Just go in the There's alley. There's gravel in the tour because guess what? Trek and Specialized and Canyon and everybody else that's making tour bikes wants to sell. Gravel, gravel bikes. bikes. Yeah. Which Marketing. are bikes. Carol has a question. Hey, you know, how are you guys talking? Have you ever seen any of you the triplets of Belleville? It was a movie. Have we ever seen the triplets, triplets of Belleville? Bellevue. No. Belleville. It's a killer movie. It's really Have not. Grandson who is we'll put a link to that in the show notes. Yeah, I'm aware of the soundtrack, the but I've not mafia, seen it. Oh, okay. The mafia wants to have him involved. They, they, they get kidnapped. <laughs> yeah, well, we'll have to, uh, we, should, we should get a microphone over there. And put it in the um, show notes. But yeah, triplets of Belleville. Yeah. It's animated. Animated. Oh, I animated, like animation. You say. Yeah. All right. Okay. Well, we'll check that out. Here's something goofy, and I got to ask you why. It's actually, I said why, not why, but why. Why? Wolf Tooth came out with a 242 millimeter dropper That's- post. Holy fuck. Who has a frame with that much? Right. That much drop. Seems like that's a lot. I guess people Tall that guys. ride down hills and Corey stuff guys. or some such. I don't know. Tall yeah, guys. but I have a long torso. I have shorter legs. Yeah, I, I know. Saw I saw it. that well, bike had, you posted. He's got a wicked. Is it? Did you sell it yet? That no. Wheel? It's a Canada. That's a is that, is that a bike good, yours for your size? It's got size? the. Oh, what's that technology from the early eighties? Is it the uh, BioPace crates? Yeah. Aluminum. Yeah, BioPace. So that's a Klein, basically. The before Ken, clients is that, is that a good is, is 200 Klein? a good price on that that's a really good i think price it's for that. on the low end actually yeah, really well then maybe i should change that number i just so i'm looking at the frame <laughs> which, which it's <laughs> a really short <laughs> head just, tube well he says it's but when he said it he was in. he's long in a torso i looked at him like okay i can see that being a long torso yeah bike. but his there's only that much seat tube sticking out right he had 242 millimeters and he had yeah that's a lot of, that's a lot of millimeters that's a lot of millimeters. 220 beaks. Maybe I should just keep that for myself, and I don't know. <laughs> no, I would, I don't know. The, some of those old, like, it even. It looks in, like an SR to me, an SR 400. An old Trek, uh, you know, some steel 560 is going for 300 bucks at Dream Bikes. Yeah, I saw a beautiful 560 today. I mean, dinged up, but still quality this thing for 300 bucks i'm like this thing was uh, sitting against a tree about six houses down from my house uh, right on. i stopped the car and i was already late for work and i just said fuck this and i parked the car and ran it back to my house and ran back and jumped in the car and took off whatever yeah it's a cool bike yeah all right american Tom. made somebody steel, yeah. american made aluminum. So, here's something you have to so maybe look i should at. look look into it i'll yeah, send look, you some more detailed pictures yeah. go, go to ebay and see what they go for because i yeah. think I think that's a little on the low side. Okay. Or it's just being a good guy and getting it out of your garage. Oh, yeah. Right. Everybody wins. Yeah. Check out the, uh, there's a link in the show notes to this, Alan Shaw's titanium omnium cargo race bike that he's doing, oh. whatever the ridiculous 2,500 mile race over in uh, Europe, Africaville. It's a like long. It is so gorgeous. And I bet it's you it's so gorgeous. super light. It's just lovely. It's lovely to look at. It is a lovely lass. Isn't it? Mm-hmm. I mean, you know, titanium is light, and that's great. But it's, it's just, also got such a such a wonderful springy quality when you use it and ride it. It's, it's war elephant. Yeah. Right? <laughs> that's a good name. <laughs> is, that, is that the bikepacking site? Yeah. That's where I found the link. But, yeah, they, they do a good job of covering all sorts of good stuff we don't ever get around to. Uh, I can't really think of anything else this I've week, got, except that, by the way... 
the River West 24 is next weekend. Yeah, biggest uh, thing of the year. 26th um, and 27th. Is Kaiju playing? Yeah, they're playing at X-Ray Arcade on Friday. No Saturday show. Couldn't make it happen. Yeah, somebody can come I up with... I didn't want to pony up 1500 bucks. Somebody comes up with 1500 hundo, though. I don't think they have a show after that, so... No. Uh, the next, I just if, if I wasn't so in the weeds, I would have helped figure that out a little bit more. But I yeah. was just, I understand slammed. completely. Uh, right. They play Eau Claire <clears throat> Saturday night, right? Okay, so anything after, sure, X ray. They even offered like the overnight. Saturday afternoon if we right. wanted them, but yeah, I, yeah. I mean like one thirty Saturday is night, still a jar, I right? One thirty Saturday night would have been a very easy thing to do at at Uptown. Or Stephen was like, "Yep, let's do it," but boom, just. Could have done ten bucks at the door. Yeah, there's ways to hundred people do it. get in there. Coulda. That's ten hundred dollars right there. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I know math works, man. Twelve bucks at the door. I don't know. That's yeah. more than twelve hundred. Um, yeah, but uh, I, I want to circle back before uh, we shut down. There, we have because we were talking about the bone era, but the donations. Um, amorphic, lakefront, broken bat. Um, all Indeed. Mm. Brewing. Uh, I'm sure. Oh, I'm working on third space. Brewing. Have, Brewing. I, I'm going to digress. Have you had Indeed's Hello Milwaukee? Yeah, it's awesome. It's a freaking great beer. I drink it every time I have a chance at I, uh, it's, an employment that I work at. That it's I, on like tap at Fixture okay. Pizza. I highly recommend it. Yeah, it's so good. It's such a so good yeah, beer. Um, Light, easy drinking. Yep. And then we've Good got people. some uh, some coffee from Dimension Seven. Love uh, those guys. Get my cup or love that dude. Yeah, blue. So cafe I get my coffee every week. Or cafe blue. I confuse it all the time. Have you checked with eighteen twenty eighteen forty? No, I didn't. I just didn't. Okay. I think we've got enough next year. Yeah, next year. So where's all the beer? Going? Um, it it goes to the prize winners and volunteers. Right on. Yeah. How many volunteers this year? <laughs> so you need volunteers to drink beer. I'll volunteer. 800. 800 volunteers this year. Probably. Um, River West Pizza. Nice. Um, to find by. Johnson Cycle, Truly Spoken Cycle. I don't know. We've got a lot of great donors. I was just trying to think of like stuff just to give shout outs now because I always tend to forget. So WMSC has got a swag bag. They're going to be doing a 24 hour nice. broadcast at nice. Black Husky, who's also donating beer. That was the one I forgot. Mm, that's okay. And then um, <laughs> Tony's on a rampage. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> and then, uh, just pedal through, Corny. Yeah. But, just pedal through. But pedal through. So MSC is doing yeah. a live broadcast right in the uh, outside on I'm, the I'm in assuming the patio. That they're doing it right in the patio. Yeah, because I the think they're pretty sweet. Yeah, yeah, they normally start with... Because uh, company's gone. They start with a Sonia show, normally. It's like 3 p.m. Yeah. on Friday. Yeah, and then rock it on through. Yeah. Dig it. Um, I, me- I remember the years that uh, our, our good friend John Balicki was there at 3 in the morning doing the metal bang <laughs> head bang bang head bang bangy bang yes ma'am okay, I, I seems to me i heard or read that carol is uh, asking the, questions river west the 24 is the largest event cycling event of its kind in the states is this true it might largest, be in the largest cycling event of its kind i would say is absolutely yeah because there's, there's no other one the, like it yeah, might be in the really, country there's really not anything else like it so it 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 easily of there's going to be 10,000 people participating, not just in the ride, but in the neighborhood and having parties and being yeah. being part of it. It's large. Yep. There are much larger large. cycling race slash events and right. stuff, but not this is, a, this is a unique event. Other places have tried it. Other places have had some success for a few years, but nothing has lasted yeah. in places like Rockford and Minneapolis and... You know, there's there's other places that powder have done. Powder horn, yeah, the yeah. powder horn twenty four. The uh, the one in, that the Dirty Dan did in Rockford. It's twelve. That's yeah. a twelve hour yeah, one. Twelve hour one. Well, the war- Shorewood Shorewood did one. Oh, they think they're doing. Yeah, but that's one. not a that's not like a true twenty four though. No, no, it's a twelve, and it's, it's kind of and Shorewood and it's Shorewood. Yeah. Starts twelve hours before. It's true. It's true. Yeah. Copy that. I only put my head down. I take Fridays and Mondays off. Yeah. yeah, yeah, for sure. Got it. All right, everybody. Well, we did it again. Corey, thank you very much for hey, coming. Thanks again I, for having I me. I hope we touched on all the things and Tony didn't talk the entire time. Yeah, I think so. <laughs> yeah. And um, 
Who knows? Maybe if there's an opportunity, we'll do a we'll do a roundup at the end of the do a do a post mortem on a this, uh, yeah. this dead Oscar. <laughs> we'll, we'll go for the the hat trick of the su- of the summer, June, July. Well, it's August. always it's always good to have you on here because yeah, I have a great otherwise time. we have a sucky show. So yeah, you know. I get to come over and drink your beers. I love it. This is a good. <laughs> We're gonna drink your beer now. I know. I brought a four pack for us. <laughs> so right on. All, All right. right. Next week, everybody. Post coital. I still want the old theme song. Dun, dun, dun.